So I'm out here on the river today. I'm just taking a walk, but I wanted a, a, a like a little lightweight rod to throw in any pack and not worry about whether you know it gets damaged. You know, an inexpensive travel. So I bought this off of Amazon. Um, let me give it a shot. It's called a Suge Ling. It's six foot nine. It has this little protection sleeve here. Um, you can just pull this off, straps down. Uh, this thing is kind of heavy. It's made out of metal. Um, it's telescopic. It does have a little bit of a cork and uh, thumb handle on it. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna rig it up and see how it uh, performs. Uh, I got a, a, some swim baits. I'm gonna throw. But I'm gonna put a Shimano reel on it. Comes out nice. I mean, it's it's a little bit heavy, but it's not super heavy. The eyes are mm, plastic. You know, they're cheap eyes, very cheap eyes. I mean, this is a cheap, I think I paid, you know, like 25 bucks or something for it. But uh, it's, not, it's not balanced good. I mean, it's, it's not really, uh, I'm interested to see how it casts and how it performs with the lure on it, but it's it's a very cheap cheap rod We're gonna put the reel on it here The reel seats are metal, you know, there's nothing fancy about this this rod But it's hopefully it's something that you can just throw into your into any pack or your pocket even you know and carry it um, either for a backup or when you're just wa out walking on a hike or something have it in your pack an emergency rod or I'm gonna find out how good it is I brought some Kitex swim baits I'm gonna throw on it It's January, it's about 40 degrees out, 42 degrees, something like that. It's chilly, nice wind. Not really expecting to catch anything, but I wanted to test this. Test this out. See if it's any good. See if it's even feasible to try. Here's my Kitek. see any more to tie a knot It'll be 50 in a couple days so without the sun being out I can't see anything all right so we got it tied up we're gonna give it We'll give it a little bit of a shot here and see what happens. See how it casts. Well, initial cast was good. I, I casted out far, farther than I expected. I mean, that's a 3 16th ounce weight in a 3.3 Kitek. Seems pretty. I'd say it's probably a let's see here. Yeah, it's probably an extra fast tip, I would say. You know, with this metal rod. It is the rod is cold because <laughs> it's cold out here. So, you know, it being metal, it's pretty cold. So it's pretty good. I mean it's not can kind of feel the bottom can't really feel it but it's not it's not real light I mean it's it is heavy but I'm whipping it out there really far right where I want it I mean about as far as I would with a regular rod almost
but it is uh, the water temperature is 36 degrees. It is cold. But I am feeling the bottom. I mean, not great, but it's not super heavy. You know, as a just a mess around rod, something to throw in your car or your pack, and you're out and see a place to fish. You know, so far it's, it seems like it's not bad. I mean, I'm getting pretty solid casts with it. I do have it paired up with the Shimano. 2500 symmetry reel um, I don't believe they make it anymore but you know I, I would suggest if you're gonna do this to use like a hundred dollar reel with it something around that in, unless you're you know budget conscious then you could use any kind of low-end reel maybe a, a Fluger president or something like that but uh, I'll tell you I, I am surprised with the casting ability on this rock I mean, I am whipping it out there. I have eight pound test on it, gamma eight pound test that I'm using, and it's uh, you know high quality line. But I mean, I'm sure any line you put on here, you know, it just depends on how, how much you want to get into this, you know, with a reel. But I, I am impressed for a little rod. Like if this was in your, say, your getaway bag or your bug out bag, whatever you want to call it, survival bag, uh, this would be a great option it's, it, it's so far. I mean, you know, I don't know how long it's going to last. I don't know what's going to happen if I hook a fish. I mean, I'm going to do some more uh, testing with this and I'll have another review after, our, you know, I catch some fish on it and uh, see how, how it's running. But so far, uh, this, this setup, this is a... Uh, I don't know how you pronounce this. Suigailing rod. Like I said, I got this off of Amazon. It was like, I don't know, 25, 30 bucks, something like that. I can't remember. I've had it for a while. I've never taken it out and used it, so I can't really remember. Uh, the stats on it are 6.89 feet, line weight 5 to 10 pounds, lure weight 7, 9 grams. It weighs 6.34 ounces. So, I mean, it, it folds up to a small thing. It's, it's a decent, seems like it's a decent uh, rod for those, uh, for that, uh, you know, for your bug out bag, whatever, your, your travel rod, your extra rod in your pack if you're going camping, whatever it may be. It seems like it's uh, pretty solid. But it, like I said, uh, the con so far, I'd say, is the, the weight of it. It's, it's kind of heavy. It's not super heavy, but it's not anywhere near like a, a regular rod. I mean, for an extra emergency rod, it uh, seems to be good. But we'll test it out. I'm going to test it out. Maybe let some of my clients test it and uh, see how it performs. And uh, I'll have a review on it later on maybe during the summer and let you know how it's working and let you know, you know, if it's worth buying or not. 